In this second part of video four, we will summarize the main lessons from the harvesting scenarios where we explore the implications of constant versus variable environments and sex selective harvesting. This table provides a summary of the six scenarios and within the right hand column titled sensitivity to harvest, it ranks the combinations of bull and female harvest with constant and variable environments. Basically, the more stars, the higher the sensitivity. There are two points that are summarized here. The first point is that moose populations are more sensitive to adult cow harvest than adult bull harvest. Populations are able to sustain higher levels of bull harvest but are much more sensitive, that is, they may decline substantially when cows are harvested at comparable rates. The second point is that moose populations which live in variable environments are more sensitive to harvest than populations that live in constant environments. The reason for this is when populations are subjected to large random changes in natural mortality due to a variable environment and are also harvested, the natural and harvest mortality become additive so that the total mortality causes a population to decline more frequently and severely in any given year than a population that is subject to a constant rate of natural mortality. So over time, Populations that live in variable environments are not able to bounce back as quickly or fully as populations that live under more constant environmental conditions. In this table, we will explore in a bit more detail what can happen to moose populations that are subject to a bull harvest versus a cow harvest. The green row titled Bull Harvest summarizes what happens to bulls and cows in a population that is subjected to a bull harvest. The main direct effect to bulls within the population is that they are harvested and therefore their mortality rate goes up. Harvesting of bulls reduces the bull to female ratio and reduces the average age of bulls. The indirect effects on cows under a bull harvest scenario are that mortality rate in cows is not greatly affected, the sex ratio of females to males increases because males are being harvested, and there is no strong effect on average age of females. However, the main indirect effect on cows is that a shifted sex ratio favoring cows increases the number of breeding females, which in turn increases the number of calves being born in spring. In other words, the population productivity increases. So at the population scale, the increase in mortality of bulls can be compensated by the increase in overall population productivity which is the result of a shift in sex ratio favoring females over males. The yellow row titled cow harvest summarizes what happens to bulls and cows in a moose population that is subject to a cow harvest. The main effect to bulls within the population is indirect. Since they are not harvested, their mortality rate is not affected, but the proportion of bulls increases because the cows are being harvested. Bulls also tend to get somewhat older because there are fewer moose on the landscape and the amount of food resources per animal is relatively high. The main direct effect when adult cows are harvested is that the mortality rate of cows increases, which in turn results in a shift in sex ratio to favor more bulls. With the increase in cow mortality, average age of females becomes younger. The combination of fewer cows that are younger means that the total number of calves that can be born is reduced substantially and population productivity declines. So in contrast to a bull harvest, which directly increases male mortality but indirectly increases productivity because the proportion of cows increases in the population, a cow harvest directly increases female mortality it reduces the proportion of breeding females and decreases overall productivity of the population. A cow harvest imparts the combination of increased mortality and reduced productivity, which makes the population much more sensitive to overharvesting. In summary, I would like to leave you with three take home messages from this presentation. Firstly, habitat and environmental variability can cause large changes in natural mortality from one year to the next. Therefore, harvesting strategies for variable moose populations should be conservative, that is, we should err on the side of caution. Secondly, moose populations are highly sensitive to cow harvest because the removal of cows increases mortality and decreases productivity. And finally, 
Male selective harvests are generally more conservative and less risky to a moose population than female selective harvesting strategies. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Please join me in the next video, 5.1, which is the first part of our final and concluding presentation.